every horse is as different as, as humans are different from each other. We're called horse trainers. Well, yeah, but the horses train on us quite a bit themselves, too. They're just kind of a part of you. You know, they teach you a lot. On my mother's side and my father's side, I'm a fifth generation rancher. My great granddad was one of the founding members of the AQHA. He was on the board when they started the deal. So we've been raising quarter horses for a really, you know, as long as a, I guess you really can. When I was 17, I was at the stock show in Fort Worth, which is the very first year they ever had the Ranch and Heritage Challenge. Very first show. My dad had entered me on a horse that I had trained, six-year-old Gildan, and he was a good horse, but I didn't know what I was doing at all. And Boyd Rice comes in there on one of Moncrief's horses and marks a 227 or something, and I mean, that horse turned around fast and huge down the fence, and I thought, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's what I want to do. The Futurity, it's, it's the biggest event that the cow horse has. We're just showcasing the horses, and these, these are young horses. They're just three years old. So it's a challenge, and you never know what a three-year-old's gonna do when they get to town, you know? It's time to go down the fence, and you know that you have to get down the fence if you wanna win a check. I mean, you're, you're nervous. kind of get to where you just go to feeding off the adrenaline. It's an addiction for me, training these horses to go do this, you know, because you got to be happy with where your horse is at, but you're always constantly trying to make them better and better and better, but you can't ask or push them over the point where they don't want to give you anymore. And so it's just a constant, you know, balance, balance, balance. Everybody in my family, every generation, has taken what was handed down to them and improved it, added their little niche to it. And I hope to be able to do my part in this generation with the horses and, and, and the cow horses. I think ranchers and farmers are as close to the earth as you can get. Everybody talks about green. It doesn't get a lot greener than actually making your living off the earth.